So I just want to ask you guys, how did you guys decide that actually, you know what, I, I need a co-founder or I don't need a co-founder? And maybe we can start with Ryan first. Sure. So when I, when I, I guess, joined or, or when we decided to do it, my, my two of my partners, Paul and Jamie, were both already going to start Jiffy. Um, so I was, I guess, the third co-founder. Um, so I didn't make the decision to, to have co-founders. I guess I decided to, to join a company that would have co-founders. I think um, it's all, it, 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 you know, in, in my mind, I don't think I would have been strong enough to be able to have those really dark days and, and not know that there was somebody else who, for some reason, thought things were going to work out that day when, when I thought it was really cloudy and, and, and vice versa. So I think, you know, none of the three of us were technical, so it was, it was really more just morale and confidence and conviction around it. Um, I think, you know, we're certainly complementary, but obviously the rest of our team is really complementary to us also. So I think it's more about who can you go to war with and can you go to war by yourself? Because I don't think I could, and kudos to you to, to do it. Um, but I think, uh, you know, having co-founders is just really helpful because you know you're just, you're, you're married. You're, you're in it together the whole way, and uh, you're, um, it, it's a really nice safety net. Um, but it also comes with, I think, sort of hair, and it's hard to manage, and everyone cares about it the same amount and wants the same thing, but they don't necessarily think the path to get there is the same. So... Um, I would certainly pick your co-founders wisely, um, and I probably got luck. I guess I knew Paul for a while. I didn't know Jamie that well, but um, I guess I got lucky in, in having good co-founders. But um, I think that's a complicated thing, and over time it turns into a pretty complicated relationship. Um, and so I think it, I don't have any great advice on how, how, to pick, how to pick good co-founders, but it's something you have to be really com comfortable, and I think it's more about the person and the character and the, the goals and kind of the commitment as opposed to this person's really good at sales or really good at coding or, you know, nice. I think it, it goes a bit deeper than that. Yeah. And uh, Mike? Um, yeah, for me it was uh, finding someone with a complementary skill set. Uh, like from, uh, with my co-founder, he had money, which it wasn't really a skill, but that also really helped. <laughs> and he had, he had sales and marketing where he was really strong in terms of business development and sales and that side of it. And for me, I come from an engineering background, so it was more about logistics and the website and that sort of stuff. So it was nice in a sense that we at least had those two bases covered, and it works well in the sense that he ends up being a, a, a sparring partner in the same sense that you were talking like having a sparring partner is a good thing because it's easy. If no one's there to challenge you, you can go a, the wrong way a long time before someone like reigns in or you hit a wall, right? Where if you've got sort of a co-founder to kind of right at the beginning that's kind of like, no, that's a, that's a bad idea. Let's not go that direction. It can be helpful even though maybe it's painful to have the argument, but it does make the business stronger because every argument has to at least have a dialogue between a couple people before it goes through. So, yeah, the co-founder is useful, having someone who's at an equal level. Cause, uh, but it also in terms of even with staff as well, it is key to also have them be more of an equal at the table as well. I, I do think the risk, uh, just sort of on a bit of a side topic of the founder card within the company a little bit, that everyone will do it because the founder says to do it, but you actually want to do what's best for the business. Uh, so the founder title in some ways we're starting to move away from in some ways, like it's about your job title. Uh, the founder title is important, but it's not. it shouldn't be a trump card within our company either. Yeah. 